Hello everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Holy Fury. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and enjoying the series. It's been great fun so far, we're going to continue right now. So what I have been doing between episodes is just checking out what things that we've unlocked in here. Wouldn't mind implementing Agnetic Cognetic at some point. Uh, but for now I think we're going to go for Revoke Title, just to uh, get that unlocked. Might go for Low Tribal Organization in the future. But for now, I'm pretty content with that adjustment. I'm gonna leave these troops here though, just to uh, just to prevent uh, additional revolts from being ridiculous. <clears throat> Finally, the monument is finished. It turned out just as I had envisioned it, or perhaps even better. To celebrate its completion, a grand ceremony was held in House Mizoweki's honor. And what a ceremony indeed! Tales of it will be told for as long as the monument stands watch over Plock. Never has Mazovia seen such a display of greatness. I gained 250 prestige, and uh, I gained a monthly prestige gain, which is excellent. I'm now back out of the negatives, which feels good. Speaking of building things, let's build the wall and ditch and upgrade that to the camouflaged outposts. Outposts stationed by archers allow for a rapid defense. Seems good. Things are coming along. I would like to increase my centralization, but of course, to do that, I need to unlock low tribal organization to do that, so it's gonna be a while. But let us just carry on, shall we? How are you doing? 261, and I'm at 3k. I do have more troops. I also just have these training grounds that have just completed, and this this levy has yet to fill up. So I should probably just be patient, really. I also have this, which should. Uh, Take a while. I tend to be shouldn't have been building that, but I don't actually know if it applies to, uh... If it applies to party, or if it's just gold. Anyway. Studying the movements of the stars at night, you have begun to see some regular pattern. These observations, however, have raised many new questions. You're starting to wonder, for example, is if Earth is really at the centre of it all. It's very interesting. The technology points are very useful at the start of the game, as you can see. Let's see what else we could unlock. Hmm. The gupping light infantry makes a bit of sense. And the heavy infantry. Uh. Hmm. Town infrastructure, just finish that off. Seems good. Let's carry on. What about you? You do seem much weaker, but you've got those vassal ally troops, which is what concerns me. Uh, you want some books on anatomy and herbalism to improve your skills? Yeah, why not? <laughs> do seem to be losing a lot of money, however. Let's see if I can uh, do something about that. It's the levy upkeep that's doing it. I'm going to have to dismiss these levies. Very well. Oh, he gains one levy. Excellent. Let's just hope for no more revolts here, shall we? Changing the culture would certainly help. I must move forward with my study. I will be in a deficit for hopefully less than a month. There we are. Two months, technically. Come on. There we are. Out of deficit. I could totally loot someone, though. Could do some raiding. It's always good to be proactive, after all. Renown is trickling in. Let's do some raiding. Gonna go to the black a little bit, but it shouldn't be for long. Let's merge and loot. Let this oh this guy's still shot. Um To me it really just makes sense to loot this thing again, see if we get, got better luck this time. Many warriors have gathered in the Great Hall tonight. 
The dinner has just started, and I do feel eager to test my mettle against one of them. It has been some time since we had a good fly ting, and there are plenty of candidates known for their crude manners and their sharp tongue for me to choose from. Hmm. I could settle for no one better than our best speaker. You look, I just want an easy fight, I think. This is my first time, after all. I shall challenge you to a contest of dialectics. I stand up and shout Dragon's name in the dining hall, catching Mediwari's attention, and challenge him to a fly ting. You only need to decide what subject will cut deeper underneath Dragon's skin. Let's look at his traits. So he's got shy, kind, proud, deceitful, chaste and slothful. No warrior is, the, is cowardly as the one between your legs, so I could insult his prowess, so to be more effective against lustful opponents, which he is not. Feeling alright, Dagon? Surely you're not tired already. He is envious and shy. Uh, better not to be... Better be careful to not trip up over your broken dreams on your way out. He is proud. How does it feel to be the like, disgrace of your dynasty? And he is kind. And he has low prestige. Let's, uh, let's go for this particular choice. He addresses the crowd, saying there was never a man who could please his lover as swiftly and as abruptly as I can. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you spar of words for a while, but soon Dragon's face grows red with rage and embarrassment, surrounded by the laughter of the other warriors. Unable to put together a coherent response, my opponent has clearly lost the fly ting. Stop being such a child, I could say. Or I could say it was all in good fun. Yeah, let's do that. I don't have to do any duels of a minus four personal combat skill, thank you very much. Although there's a potential I could win it, because he's only got one. So it's like, how 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 bad am I going to do, really? Stop being just a child. Nope, oh, nope. Oh. He's going to become a bitter rival. Oh dear. The rivalry has begun. Let us begin looting. Speaking of, we have a challenge. This particular place needs to be looted now. The rumours of great spoils are hiding behind the walls of Lublin Tribe, waiting to be conquered by any daring raid of enough grit and ambition. Let's do it, shall we? We shall loot that place after this one. First off, we must destroy this place first. We earned some money. The rise of the Shia. This schism at the heart of Islam dates back to its earliest days. And we pretty much know all this already. And they fight amongst themselves, isn't that amusing? I think we have enough troops this time that we can actually safely siege this den. The one man has come to raid my place, oh no. <laughs> We've earned some money back, this is good. Let's keep earning more money, shall we? Now that the walls are down, we can strip the wealth out. It is early morning and you are at the shrine dedicated to Marana, deep in prayers. You hear soft footsteps behind you. Who could it be at this hour? Won't jar, as it turns out. We exchange some pleasantries and soon find ourselves in a full-fledged conversation. You have had so much in common. We should talk some more. Why not? We could be friends. Friendly friends. Just looting this here, here, here temple. Seems legitimate. Excellent. We have money. Lots of money. We can actually do things now, like write a book about how much money we have. I shall write about learning, because that's the only stat I have that doesn't suck. Okay, let's loot the rest of the gold. <laughs> I sense a harmony out there once continue to study the sky. More tech points. We can research sieging and cavalry. Don't need shipbuilding. We can also research construction and tolerance, I guess. Ah, majesty. Majesty! This is slowly starting to come down. I think we've uh, pretty much looted everything. Let's head down here. But let's not tip him off. Let's uh, head here and then straight through. Let's not uh, have them raise the alarm until we're there. In we go. Boom. Get looted. Your treasures shall be mine. I'm glad I've not died, but I am concerned about the fact that we have not had any children. I'm going to sway you. Sway with my heart. 
time to return home with all the loot and treasure that is mine. And uh, we might as well gut the rest of the province if it's loot, but it's pretty much like nothing, right? It's like three gold. Um, I must persist. The truth is out there. Let's not give up and gain slothful, shall we? We're going diligent! Yay! Diligence! That is the way forward. My looting ways are basically at an end. Yep, that's enough gold out of that. Cool, let's dismiss the troops. How are we doing on our caps here? Well, we can have more veteran warriors. But we actually don't have prestige for more, so we actually need to get some more prestige to actually get some more. But this is helping, the uh, Ancestral Monument. And of course the warrior stat we're getting from here. So we could get another military trait. Oh no, we already have one. Okay, that's a unique one we can only get from... Get once. But I quite like it, I'm happy with that trait, to be honest. I'm uh, very pleased. So, what's next? Let's uh, just get our retinues all nice and united. So just if it wasn't clear already, this here is basically the replacement for the old button in here that would let you summon 2500 troops. You now just have retinues that cost prestige to generate. And we do could uh, chance that was getting bored, but he is useless, so this is okay. <laughs> Speaking of not useless, how about you? You could be our chancellor. Do you have a better steward? We do. How about you do this? Maybe you have a better chance. 8.54% is a better chance. A divine is excellent, and I'm not going to sack my wife. I want to sway her. Dance with the wife to sway. Sway properly. Sway well. And even it even lists here that we are swaying her. Be swayed, my wife. Here we are. A little bit of auto-save action. The stars are proceeding well. We have more tech points. Military organization is going to cost a few more tech points though to upgrade again. We will be doing so, however. Uh, we have an intriguing woman in court. She is very good, but I don't want to sack the wife, so let's let's not. She just vanishes without a trace of a new landless government type. Oh yes, landless, eh? As it is a few moments, however, we can uh, have a look around the, the realms in a moment. Uh, first off, I wonder if High Chief Steph uh, Nedzia would appreciate learning about the benefits of hard work from me. I should try to use my diplomacy to uh, sway her to my cause. Well, let's see. Uh, France is doing okay. Uh, Lotharingia has expanded into Italy. Venice is coming along strong. New portrait for the Italian vent doge here. This is all just a mess. At least this is broken up into two parts, but Kazaria is expanding westwards towards me, which is a bit concerning. Byzantine Empire does look like it's doing well, with the new imperial government type, new holding art as well. There's a lot to see and experience, and of course just all of all of Africa by the way. This expansion really is just the, oh by the way, we kind of just did everything. Um, but we, we're content over here in uh, northeast Poland, so doing what we can to keep expanding. Actually, we've got one piece of, uh, of this kingdom here. We do need the rest of Poland, though. Maybe we should expand westwards instead. Oh, how much? You've got nothing. I could totally hit you. You're currently attacking that dude, for some reason. Yeah, westwards seems like a decent call. So, um... Hmm. You've been very impressed about me. Good. Be swayed. Like, if I finish this event chain with the, uh, the, the observatory as soon as I finish it, I'm going to immediately switch to seduction focus and just invite all the women. <laughs> but as this is seeming pretty easy, let's just uh, subjugate you, shall we? Who's going to come into this? Serbia. Why? Family ties, I guess? Or the, because you are Slavic. And how much stuff do you have? Not a lot. I can actually beat the both of you, to be honest. So... Let's subjugate you. Be subjugated. Maybe we shall change our rally point. 
to pluck. Raise the troops. Everyone has been called in, but we expected this. So the capital is here. A nice swelling army here, which is excellent. I would like to join in because of, then I can actually use my Pillar of the Plains bonus. And this is Plains. Um, I'm just concerned about dying. But I think that I should be out there to rally them in. Hopefully, I can just siege everything down anyway, and then this won't be a problem, right? Okay, we have sure you made a breakthrough in our studies. Yes, it cannot be otherwise. The Earth is round and it revolves around the sun. How little we know of our universe. So I can gain 300 prestige and publish it. We shall continue its secret and gain scholar. I shall stop with this achievement and gain plus two learning. Or no, this is this is the enemy speaking. We are already zealous. I see no reason not to gain 300 prestige though. Because after all, we are the able and we can uh, immediately use that prestige to uh, get some more retinues, so why not? Two more retinues, thank you. Just lump yourselves in there. I should go through it this way. Um, yeah, seems legit. Do to build anything with that extra prestige while we're at it? I could build a warrior gathering ground, but when, once the culture changes, it'll just de despawn anyway, so. A little bit of subjugation in this video. I could stand together if things go wrong. That is an excellent point. So, that's something we can keep in mind. Still, this, this siege is going very well. Maybe my Ravager trap will come in handy. As you can see, lots of people are getting captured. Oh, yes. I've encountered veteran Wally Sawa many times while carrying out my duties for the Champion Supreme, and it has always been a pleasant occasion. We could talk for hours if time allows, because she never bores me. While our discussions are often lengthy, we always seem to agree on the matters which are most important. This could be friendship. Or we could go all out and just say it's much more than friendship. I think that she's a bit old to be much more than friendship. Let's be friends. Yeah, why not? Friendly friends of friendship. Excellent. Speaking of how I have completed the Scholar event chain, so let's switch to... We could go family focus or... Sedu it's going to be seduction focus. <laughs> Um, as much as I would love to be with you, wife, you're not doing anything useful, are you? So, let's check the court. Any useful women here? We have Kinga, the woman. Let us seduce Kinga. Obviously, there's the wife. And there's the children. Can't seduce the children, plus this one's a bit young anyway. We could ransom the said children. 46 gold, you broke. Um, yeah, not, not much is happening there. Maybe we can recruit the children, though. She shall be mine. I'm already at 82% on this subjugation. This seems good. While champions of Prude always appreciate a good brawl, it's always keep in mind what you're fighting for. You should keep in mind your responsibility as a ruler. You have a duty to lead and protect your subjects. Okay, wow. We have to select the rulership focus to complete this mission. It's a bit of a rough mission, to be honest, because rulership sucks. Like, it's the worst focus in the game. Yeah, I'm actually going to decline this mission. I'm not doing that. We are going to grab this little battle here, which just goes smoothly. Uh, no, no. There is no rush. I do need to stop leading troops, basically, is what it's saying. We shall refrain from leading troops while we chase women. I agree that it's not good to multitask in that way. Let's see if we can wrap up this subjugation war before calling a video. Some carefully placed words where they can be easily overheard by notorious gossips can be more effective than a love letter, or so I thought, but my quarry, Kinga, has not respected in any way. Let's try another tactic. This is siege is troubling me though, so let's uh, break off a detachment of troops and send them in. Just to make sure that's not going to happen. I won't give up just yet. Love letter didn't work. What about just talking to her like a normal person? You know, respect. Speaking of respect, this battle goes very well. I sent Kinga a beautiful necklace and cover her womb of wildflowers, but I've heard nothing back from her. What's wrong with you? Could have been worse. I'm a pirate. Pirates are manly. Alright. 100%. We we'll drag more men out of holes. Well, this is a woman, actually. Um, we'll see what happens once we 
win the war, enforce the demands, we usurp the title. So let's see what happens as a result. So we have him, he's pretty cross, and uh, he's now our vassal. You are now also my vassal. You've got, you're mainly just, you're actually happy with being subjugated, you just want to be on the council, and you're ambitious. And you're also wanting to be on the council. Still, success. We shall disband these troops. Move back over here. Can we get even more troops? No, we are not hitting the cap. But we'll be increasing the military organization soon. We're only about 20 points off. We just need a few more events to get it, unfortunately. Could, could do some studying technology over in Constantinople. Sounds like a plan. Especially because we're now not relying on the wife to actually be here for children. Okay. We also have these prisoners here. Ravager trait coming in useful. Can we ransom any of them? 26 gold. 26 gold. 10 gold. Well, one at a time. Uh, 10 gold to here. Getting some money from the vassals seems legitimate. My character is the subject of Greek plays. But wait, how do you know who those are? Who those are? Let's get some... Ooh, should we get camouflaged outposts? What's available here? We can upgrade to layered palisades. Hmm. Let's layer our palisades, shall we? Many layers. And here we could spend some prestige and get an upgrade on a building. Um, let's upgrade the house of training ground to level 2. I'm slightly concerned about the realm, however. Because uh, people are going to be crossed, they're not on councils and so on and so forth. Can I replace you? Yes, so you're not bad. You could be a good marshal. I'll make you the marshal. Even though you hate me, you'll be you'll do a decent job at being marshal. You're on the council. And I'll make you the You the uh, advisor, I guess? Both of them are more powerful and you they're both ambitious, which sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can only appease one of you. The other one I just have to deal with. But at least that makes you happy, so I'll have less people. No one is currently plotting to kill me. Let's not give up just yet, but we do want this woman to uh, become a bit more friendly. Uh, Ulluk has decided to share a few barrels of mead to the entire congregation tonight, challenging his fellow warriors to see which one among us will be able to drink the most without faltering. Hmm. So I'll lose 300 Monown if I refuse to, uh, take the challenge, so to speak. I shall be the one! <laughs> um, yes, I shall write a message to you. Several recruits accepted my challenge at the mere mention of free mead, and soon the hall is filled with cheering and dashing... Clashing of the tankards. The servants bring in the first barrel. We all find a place at the long table, eager to start. Come on, start pouring already. Hmm. Okay. King has finally, finally started to show some respect. Ingenious. Let us not, let us, uh, continue. <laughs> one by one, the other contenders either tap out or fall unconscious. I cannot see straight anymore, and everything is blurry. But I am still standing. I gulp down another tankard and watch mindlessly as my last opponent falls over headfirst on the table. While I am still processing what happened, I became winner of the contest among the cheers of the other warriors. I <laughs> won! I gained 50 renown and 10% chance I gained drunkard. Which I do not get. This is good. <laughs> I could hold many festivals. Oh, we are getting closer to Kinga. This is good. Hmm. Let's keep keep trying. Okay, we are getting close. Uh, we shall seek an ally among her friends. Oh, we got into the same room. Oh, my wife is sympathetic to my romantic cause. <laughs> I wonder if she'll actually know what happened. 
Uh, let's let's confess my love. Okay, no, the virtue is strong. Let's keep going. We'll see, we'll see if we can we can uh, be with her. Uh, seek an ally among the friends. Let's make a lewd suggestion. No, no. Okay, let's keep trying. <laughs> I won't give up just yet. Come on, Kinga. Um, it doesn't help that I am chased. I shall declare my love for my wife. Um, I, I shall lose the trait. I could gain. She gains lustful, and I lose the trait. Chased sometimes. She's lustful though. That's good. Be lustful, honestly. It doesn't help that I've got chased. <laughs> Come on, fertility! I need another tactic. It's not, it's not easy seducing women. We've got warriors, though. I think on the note of the warriors, we'll call it a video. When we come back next time, more Crusader Kings 2. Attempting to seduce women. Subjugating enemy counties. All is well in the world of uh, Mazovia. Let us see what happens next time, right here at Complex Games. The next episode will go up in a few moments. As you can uh, see, two per day until Holy Fury is released. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.